Milan Lucic, arguably the hardest hitter in the game today. Hit the intro. Milan Lucic winds and fires and he scores! Milan Lucic puts his head down and just wires it. Milan Lucic with the game on his stick, walks in and scores! Lucic is the hero! 3-2 Boston! He has proved that old-time hockey is here to stay, but his lifestyle will definitely shock you. New details tonight about the arrest of Bruins player Milan Lucic. Let's quickly start things off with his background and his childhood. Milan Lucic was born in East Vancouver to Serbian parents Dobrovac Lucic and Snezana Kisa. His father Dobro was a longshoreman in Vancouver who immigrated to North America from his native Serbia when he was 27. His mom, Snezana, came to Vancouver when her parents moved from Serbia when she was just two. He has two brothers, Nikola and Johan. He comes from a family of athletes, and we'll dive into that more later. He attended Killarney Secondary in Vancouver, and at this time, he became a big fan of the Canucks, and his favorite player was Todd Bertuzzi. Also at this time, he decided to take up boxing, and he excelled in the sport. Though shortly later, he was diagnosed with Sherman's disease, a condition that can cause the upper back to curve and has given him a hunched over posture. Lucic played minor hockey in Vancouver, but nearly quit the sport after being passed up in the 2003 WHL Bantam Draft. He was further demoralized when he initially failed to make the Junior A team in the British Columbia Hockey League. He instead joined the Junior B team and after five games was promoted to Junior A Coquitlam Express. Let's quickly go over his junior career. Later that season, he made his major junior debut with the Vancouver Giants of the Western Hockey League. And the following year, he added seven points in 18 playoff games to help the Giants to a WHL title. That offseason, he was selected 50th overall by the Boston Bruins in the 2006 NHL Draft. The following WHL season, Lucic emerged as one of the Giants' leaders, finishing first in team scoring with 68 points in 70 games. They went on to win the 2007 Memorial Cup after Lucic assisted a Miguel Rapik's tournament winning goal. Lucic was awarded the Ed Shinoff Trophy as leading scorer and earned the Stafford Smythe Memorial Trophy as tournament MVP. Time to talk about his NHL career and achievements. Real quick guys, our friends over at Manscaped just released a below the waist grooming experience like none other with their new performance package 5.0 Ultra. This makes for a perfect holiday gift for dads, uncles, sons, you name it. And I have a great discount code for you to use. The Lawnmower 5.0 is a next generation trimmer with interchangeable blade heads for whatever shave your mind can imagine. A standard one for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. Oh, and I should mention, this trimmer is waterproof too. It also has dual LED spotlights to provide contrast on multiple skin tones. The package includes the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, Manscapes Liquid Formulations, and two free gifts, their premium boxers and toiletry bag. And if you want to save money on it, use code NHLLIFESTYLE at manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code NHLLIFESTYLE at manscaped.com. And guys, I'll never promote a product I wouldn't use myself. It's the best way to support our channel. Thanks for watching. Now back to Lucic. In the 2007 offseason, Lucic signed a three-year entry-level deal worth $2,550,000. He played in his first NHL game that October and wasted no time mixing things up. His first goal came a week later, a game winner against the Los Angeles Kings. He's got Lucic in the middle. Great G for Lucic. He scores! By also fighting Kings forward Ritas Ivanons and notching an assist, he recorded his first Gordie Howe hat trick. And in his first home game, he mixed things up again. And later that same month, this happened. But oh, there goes a pane of glass on a gigantic Lucic hit. He finished his rookie campaign with eight goals, 27 points, and 13 fights. This was enough to earn him a spot in the NHL Young Stars game. He scored his first playoff goal in the first round matchup, though the Bruins were eliminated by the Canadians in seven games. Early the following season, he scored his first hat trick against the Thrashers. Mark slips it to Lucic, he dangles, tries to throw it in front, second chance, hat trick! Milan Lucic has put Boston ahead, and it's raining hats at Boston Garden! He developed great chemistry with Bruins top center Mark Savard and put up 17 goals and 42 points. Lucic in front of the shot, scores! Mark Savard! 
Some controversy happened that postseason, but we'll talk about it soon. They would lose in the second round that year and the following year. However, the 2010-2011 season would be like no other. Lucic began the season with a natural hat trick during a 4-0 win over the Panthers. He completed the season with a career-high 30 goals and 62 points. He led the Bruins in scoring while tying for the points lead with center David Krejci. Krejci to Lucic, he scores! Gorgeous cross-ice pass from Krejci. The Bruins eliminated the Canadians, Flyers, and Lightning in the first three rounds en route to the Stanley Cup Finals against Lucic's hometown Vancouver Canucks. Lucic put up two goals and an assist, helping the Bruins win their first Stanley Cup since 1972. He also managed to get 16 penalty minutes in Game 3. After Alex Burroughs bit Patrice Bergeron in Game 1, Lucic's finger taunt landed him in the box for some time. In the hours that followed the Bruins' victory over the Canucks, the city of Vancouver turned on Lucic. An hours-long riot ensued in downtown Vancouver. Posters of Lucic at a local cultural community center were defaced, and an appearance by Lucic at a Greek festival in Vancouver sparked a public brawl. Lucic's day with the cup was spent in his hometown church in Burnaby. Months later, in February 2012, the church he brought the trophy to was vandalized. Other than being at Rogers Arena, no one will ever see me in downtown Vancouver ever again. As tempers died down, the following season began, and controversy would strike immediately. The puck gets out beyond and Miller, way out, and Lucic barrels into Miller. Miller was diagnosed with a concussion and had this to say after the game. I just stuck around because I just want to say I'm a piece of shit I think Lucic is. The NHL held a hearing with Lucic and later announced that he would not be suspended for the play. The following season, Lucic and the Bruins would reach the Stanley Cup Finals for the second time in three years. Although Lucic put up four goals and two assists against the Blackhawks, they ultimately fell in six games. In the summer of 2015, Boston traded Lucic to the Los Angeles Kings in exchange for Martin Jones, Colin Miller, and a first-round pick in the 2015 NHL Draft. He played a strong two-way game while recording 20 goals and 55 points during the regular season. He also added three assists during the playoffs, though they fell to the Sharks in five games. The Kings were tight against the cap, and they could not offer Lucic the contract he deserved. Lucic got it with Edmonton via Peter Chiarelli, his former GM in Boston. He quickly made his presence known. Watson takes a huge hit to Mila Lucic. A few moments later, he drew a penalty and subsequently scored the game-tying goal. He'll go for Dreisler. Oh, he's going to score! Mila Lucic! He tallied 23 goals to help lead his team to the playoffs for the first time since 2006. Lucic gained revenge on the San Jose Sharks, who had ended the Kings' playoff run the previous year, though Edmonton lost in round two to the Anaheim Ducks. His production drastically declined, and he scored just 16 goals over the next two years. He subsequently waived his no-movement clause and was traded to Calgary. 26 games into the 2019-2020 season, Lucic had no goals and four assists. He contemplated walking away from the game he once loved. But six days later, something weird would happen. Head coach Bill Peters resigned after admitting he had used racial slurs in the AHL. Jeff Ward, who was Lucic's assistant coach in Boston for seven years, was named interim coach. Jeff sat him down and told him, Luch, I want you to carry the puck through the neutral zone again. And in the very next game, this happened. Lucic scores! There it is! Number one for Lucic as a player. The following year, he played in his 1,000th NHL game. I don't know if this is a way to commemorate the 1,000th game. In the summer of 2023, Lucic returned to the team that drafted him on a one-year deal. Hey, I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. He started the year with two assists in four games. Some major controversy would ensue, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Before we dive into how much he's made, let's briefly go over his international highlights. Lucic was named the captain of Canada for the 2007 Super Series against Russia. He recorded three assists as Canada won the series. Lucic was also named to the roster for the 2023 IIHF World Championship, winning gold with the team. Let's take a look at his recent contracts. Lucic has signed several contract extensions since his rookie contract. With his entry-level deal expiring, Lucic agreed to a three-year extension with the Bruins worth $12.25 million. And after Lucic led the team in scoring, Bruins GM Peter Chiarelli extended him for another three years, this time for a total value of $18 million, though that's nothing compared to his next contract. As an unrestricted free agent, he signed the most generous payday of his career. His contract with the Oilers was worth $42 million over seven years, once again administered by GM Peter Chiarelli. 
and his one-year deal that returned him to Boston was worth $1 million. Day one today. Yeah. Go run someone over. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know how much he makes, how does he spend his cash? After winning the Stanley Cup, Lucic and his teammates racked up a $156,000 bar tab at Shrine Nightclub. He then went out and bought this new Audi. He even gave it a custom paint job. And in 2012, he purchased this new Cadillac. That same year, he purchased this waterfront condo for $2.6 million. And while in LA, he bought a Hermosa beach home, which he still owns today. Now for some moments that caused some waves in Lucic's career. Back in 2011, police were called after witnesses noticed a drunken Lucic throwing shoes and a purse at Brittany. Lucic was not charged in the incident, and Brittany stated it was all a big misunderstanding, though a much darker incident would occur in 2023. In the early hours of a Saturday in November, a drunken argument would turn violent. Brittany called 911 after the NHL veteran allegedly accused her of hiding his phone and grabbed her by the hair. The police report stated, officers went up to the apartment to speak to Milan, who appeared to be intoxicated when he answered the door. Milan was arrested on suspicion of assault and battery charge and taken to the Boston Police Department, where he was let out on bail. Two days later, he pleaded not guilty in a Boston court. Hours before he appeared in court, Milan admitted himself to the player assistance program designed for players who were suffering from substance abuse issues. He remains on an indefinite leave of absence from the Bruins. He's also faced several on-ice controversies. His first suspension came in game two of the 2009 playoffs after delivering a cross-check to the head of Canadiens forward Maxim Lapierre. He was suspended for game three. His second fine came in 2010 after he took a hit from defenseman Freddie Meyer. A brawl ensued and he was fined $2,500 for this punch and an additional $1,000 for flipping off the Thrasher's bench immediately afterward. The following year, he was suspended one game for checking Zach Ronaldo from behind. He forfeited $22,072. In April of 2014, he was fined $5,000 for spearing Danny DeKaiser. After the Bruins fell to the Canadians in the postseason, Lucic had words with several Canadians, including Dale Weiss, during the traditional post-series handshake. Weiss recently told us what Lucic said. And then he grabs my hand and he's like, I'm going to fucking kill you next year. You're done. At the time, Lucic responded by saying this. Set on the ice, so it'll stay on the ice. So if he wants to be a baby about it, that's he can make it public. Early that following season, he was fined $5,000 for taunting the Montreal crowd after a boarding call. In 2016, he was suspended one game for punching Kevin Connaughton. He forfeited $32,258. In 2018, Lightning rookie Matthew Joseph hit Chris Russell up against the boards. The following shift, Lucic tracked Joseph down, knocked him to the ice, and punched him in the head. He was fined $10,000. In 2019, Lucic punched Cole Sherwood after getting close to David Riddick. He was suspended two games and forfeited $64,516. In total, he has forfeited $142,346, peaking now into his personal life. And trust me, it's not what you think. His uncle, Dan Kessa, is a retired NHL right winger who played for multiple NHL teams. He even got a young Lucic and his brothers a photo with their childhood idol, Yaramir Yager. A decade or so later, he began dating Brittany Carnegie, and they got engaged after the 2011 Stanley Cup Championship. They had their first daughter together two years later. Two years after that, tragedy would strike. On April 22nd, Lucic's father Dobro died by suicide in Vancouver. Lucic was in Boston at the time, and Brittany was eight months pregnant with their second daughter. He stated, it was definitely hard on me, but at the back of my mind, I know what he would say to me in certain situations and try to use it to keep making him proud. The summer culminated with a trade from the only organization Lucic ever knew in Boston to a Kings team on the other side of the country. Milan Lucic Jr. was born on May 17th, 2018. Outside of hockey, Lucic enjoys golfing. He's also a baseball fan and got to throw out the first pitch at Fenway during his return to Boston in 2023. And if you like baseball, make sure to subscribe to our MLB Lifestyle channel. We'll be covering every MLB player just like this. Now at this point, you people must be getting excited about his career earnings. To date, Lucic has earned an astounding $72,842,805. Thanks for watching.